We hear the word scary more and more from those still in Kharkiv, like Andrei Klamishin. Our authorities, like everybody, everybody, ask us to switch off the light, not to be the target for the uh, airplanes. Nightly blackouts like curfew start at six this week. He evacuated his wife Nadia and their son, who are now safe in western Ukraine. He intends to stay put for the duration, whatever that turns out to be. I think that I can be more helpful here, like telling what is going on to people, uh, seeing and kind of documenting what is going on here, to see it with my own eyes. And then later when I somehow uh, figure it out for myself what to do uh, or when they will need me, actually. He remains quite literally in the dark about the future of our sister city. Bombs have fallen all around him. He's out on the streets during parts of the day. Bread, juice, and raw potatoes were distributed nearby today. As we talked... Uh, just one second. He took a call relevant to the moment. The pharmacy was closed in Kharkiv today. He says money for medicine and weapons are what's needed most right now. I'm sorry, that was the call from my friend. Uh, she is with volunteers and some, again, other friends from, by the way, from Cincinnati. They asked me to find uh, how they can help. The main thing, he tells me, is to not grow tired or grow indifferent to what is going on there. That we need to restore our country. Andre Klamishin's a teacher, not a military man, but with no opportunity in the classroom right now, he says he's open to helping in any way he can. John London, WWT News 5. John, thanks so much.